All right, guys. It is a pleasant day here in the end times. And the second collapse of civilization here in the former Mayan Empire on this level. It is Saturday, February 25th, 2023. And so, speaking of collapsed civilizations, I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is the single biggest uh, leaf cutter ant nest I have ever seen in my entire life. How many years in Latin America? And uh, good God, this thing. Uh, and it appears to be just recently, apparently, this thing, it appears just to be abandoned. That there had to have been years, not decades of work. This, this, this whole mound, um, I mean, this thing, <clears throat> this thing is, I'm guessing, 8 by 10 feet. Uh, completely abandoned. Now, over here, down the road, there is still, so this hill right here still is active. Now, I'm, I'm unclear what all of these leaves are that they carried here. Oh, so it, these are the leaves that they're taking back. Okay, this is the garbage dump. All right, so they're bringing the spent leaves back out, and this is uh, this is a leaf cutter ant <clears throat> garbage dump. So there is still a tiny few number of ants working this hill, but uh, this entire civilization has obviously very recently collapsed. I have no clue uh, what happened here. There is no telling. I'm sure there's a clueless moron involved somewhere. I mean, these trails, I've been following this trail, good lord, for a quarter mile. I mean, this was a leaf cutter ant super highway that, uh, okay, so here I guess, I mean, I don't get it. There's just a tiny few ants straggling along, but nobody seems to be bringing any fresh leaves into the ant mound. I mean, I, there's only 300 billion leaves. There is something very bizarre going on here. Uh why the leaf cutter ants are, I mean, you can see their trails going off in all directions. There's no ants on them. So, uh, I'm hoping that there's just a normal explanation and that there's just something I don't understand about leaf cutter ant ecology. I mean, look at this. Uh, going down the road. There, there should be thousands and thousands and thousands of ants here. That uh, one in Chulha, about one-third the size of that ant hill. But, you know, it looked like, I mean, just an absolute bevy of activity. I'm talking a half hour south of here, just a few days ago. There's something weird going on, and Speaking of weird things going on, well, I don't believe it. Here is a butterfly. You know, so I've been down here for four weeks in the, uh, both the Yucatan Peninsula and in Belize. And in four weeks, I have seen one family of monkeys, one family of monkeys in Chulha, and one deer in Chula in, in one month down here. Uh, I've seen probably, have I seen 10 iguanas since I've been here? Maybe 10 iguanas 
one deer, let's call it six monkeys. And uh, it's just a, what they call a biological desert. There's just like zero animals down here. Uh, there's some parrots flying around. Some kind of weird bird woke me up this morning. There's some sort of Mexican blue jay. Uh, but all in all, you know, I have, I have not seen one snake. I, okay, I, I, other than those iguanas, that, that there is one species of lizard I have seen in a month. I have not seen one of those little, they call them chameleons, I guess they're called anoles. You know, those little things that go from brown to green. I have not seen one single anole, whatever you call these things. Uh, not one. I have not seen one snake. Okay, we have traveled how many by bus. Now, I wouldn't necessarily be able to see the roadkill from the uh, bus window that well. But as far as I know, from Cancun, Mexico to San Ignacio, Belize, I do not recall seeing one single dead animal in the road. Never once. Never once. Uh, no turtle, no snake. Uh, it's like every single animal down here uh, is just gone, gone. Uh, you know, if I was down here 50 years ago on that trip and uh, we were actually doing a study on those little lizards, what we call chameleons, we were actually studying them uh, as part of that that trip. I have seen in Bacalar there in that uh, real pretty undeveloped lot there was this what do you call them a flock of about uh, 20 or 30 butterflies. So one time I saw a bunch of butterflies. Uh, Okay, here's a white butterfly, but I mean it's, uh, I see, oh, we've squirrels, squirrels, all right, probably seen in four weeks, I might have seen six squirrels, forgot about the squirrels. Uh, so there you go, uh, I, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, you just can't tell me that this is normal. There's nothing fucking normal about it. This is, I mean, listen to, we're, we're in the middle of a jungle, listen to it. I have more wildlife at Bugs in a Jar Farm on my 14 acres. Uh, than, than I have seen in the entire Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, I mean, this is just... I mean, you know, we're, we're fucked, people. We're totally fucked. Nobody can sit here and tell me that this is normal. I think, uh, you know, that famously, you know, it's always being cited, that World Wildlife Fund story talking about uh, how, what, two-thirds of our fellow Earthlings have disappeared off the face of this planet since 1970, but the biggest decline, I, I mean, just like, good Lord, I mean, by far, is Latin America, how, uh, you know, mainly talking mammals, uh, mammals and birds and 
it's just it's just unbelievable that you that I could walk I have been out walking down this trail through the jungle I don't know I guess I've gone about five miles today okay we have a butterfly I guess I've gone about five miles down this trail I have seen some blue jays I hear a woodpecker okay we have a woodpecker up in that tree blue jays and a woodpecker uh, you know not one lizard running across the road not one little snake Jesus. A biological desert. I've been dealing with these biological deserts down here in Latin America for uh, how many years? But uh, this is as bad. This is, you know, in all of the years and trips I've taken to Latin America, this is the worst. To be down here for four weeks and to see as few uh, to see as few animals as there are uh, down here. Well, I don't know if that's my road or if that's my road. Ah, fuck. I am lost. I am lost in the jungle. Ah, uh, oh well. Maybe I'll scare up some fellow earthlings being lost out in the jungle. Ah, oh, Jesus. We are completely fucked, people. I'm off to find a kitchen to make a ham and cheese sandwich. If I can figure out which fucking road I'm supposed to be on. Get out there and enjoy your biological deserts while you still can. Bye guys.